So let's go to the multidimensional identity chart. This will also help us to see how each chakra connects to planetary consciousness and extraterrestrial consciousness and understanding we are the extra extraterrestrial intelligence. It's a part of our body. So again, in understanding the cosmology, just like the chakras that we have, the universe and the planetary body has its own stargate or chakra system. So understanding the first three layers, we can see the personality matrix and how these levels connect to not only those levels of intelligence, but to other timelines, planets, and realities. So as we look at this model, we can see that there's a parallel Earth, there's an inner Earth, there's a Venusian Earth relationship, and as we move into the soul matrix, which is another harmonic universe, we start to connect into the fourth dimension. Now this is what's interesting, is when you see the astral body and the race emotional body connected to Nibiru, you can really start to understand how the Anunnaki and the reptilian energies really got a stronghold that way through Egypt, because Egypt is the fourth dimensional stargate. So that's why they went there because that was the area of our solar shield. It was the area of where we as a being connect to our soul matrix. They went right there. So our astral body is a part of the collective emotional body of every human being on this planet. And it opens into our relationship with the sun and also what's known as Nibiru. So Nibiru is a planet that has a certain trajectory in terms of time within our particular cosmos. It has a cycle, and when it has a cycle, again, it impacts us at certain levels. And again, that's a part of, of you know, again, Michal talked a lot about that, so I won't get into that. But understanding as well as we move up the scale, the fifth dimensional body, the gatekeeper is Pleiadian. When we start to connect to our fifth dimensional throat, sometimes you'll be really connected to Pleiadian consciousness. Or sometimes you'll know that your particular level of embodiment, because a lot of us have very specific genetic material, you'll be connected to a certain part of the planet, or a certain, you'll be really attracted to a certain type of ET consciousness. So there's some people that are very, let's say, more connected to Pleiadian than Arcturian, or feel more connected to Syrian rather than Pleiadian or Orion, this kind of thing. It really doesn't matter. A part of that genetic material is really the core of the things that you have chosen to express. And the nature of that planetary consciousness and that intelligence is a part of what you're here to contribute to this planet. So our sixth layer is actually our third eye, and that's connected to the Syrian intelligence. It's important to note that the Syrian constellation and intelligence acts and has acted as the higher self to the Earth. So the Syrian energy, many of us will feel a connection to Sirius at the sixth dimensional level because guess where all our indigos came from? Our blue ray beings that came from the sixth dimension are the indigo children that are being birthed on this planet. And again, more beings from the higher dimensions are actually embodying on our planet because now this body can actually hold that consciousness. So understand that we've been path cutting the genetic material of this body so that we can hold higher and higher and higher resonances. It's really understanding, again, the frequency is like electrical. You could plug into 2000 volts and it would burn out your system or you would spontaneously combust. So we literally had to path cut and work on bringing little braids of consciousness in. And we reached a point in 1987 where we could actually have full six-stranded beings coming into this planet and being born in mass. And that's who our children are. Many of our children are these beings. And again, there's another whole level of avatars and beings that are attempting to get in here. So believe you me, we may think it's going on out there, but it's the parties down here. <laughs> so as, again, we move into the monad, into the seven-dimensional parallel Earth timelines, you start hitting the Arcturians, which my, my little chart is a little off there, but that seventh-dimensional chakra relationship is to the Arcturian consciousness. Um, the Arcturians are helping us rebuild the logos of our planet and the violet dimension. That's a part of their role with humanity. Again, the galactic core, our eighth chakra, 
is where we connect to Orion, as well from the Guardian model, the eight chakra connects to the Milky Way galaxy. It's the core of creation of our universe. And then we start getting into the antiparticle timelines where we get into the Andromedan energies at the ninth dimension, which by the way, the Andromedans are hosting our ascension. I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the presentation. And then continuing our 10th, 11th, and 12th layer is the cradle of Lyra. Lyra was a planet that exploded in our particular history. It's no longer there. However, those levels of the 10th, 11th, and 12th connect to the solar logos or that galactic mind, those levels of intelligence. And again, seeing that 12th dimensional is the unity template, is the unity blueprint, the avatar matrix. And then once we get beyond dimensionalization, we come into the Logos energy of our universe, which again is considered one spirit. Um, in some esoteric circles, it's also considered the Melchizedek, but we know Melchizedek has been distorted a lot on this planet, so. Those three levels of the blue ray, gold ray, and violet ray are the primal sound creations. So we can see again that 13th ray is a blue aqua ray that's feline, primary is feline in nature. The gold ray is primary avian or bird in nature. The magenta violet is primary cetacean, dolphin, whale in nature. Those are the creators of humankind. <laughs>